So, okay, it's okay. going. It started. Hello, I'm vlogging. I'm vlogging by myself. Uh, yeah, so I decided I need to start a YouTube channel because I don't want to have to pay rent from my paycheck. So, this is the only way, and anyone that subscribes is helping me keep a roof over my head, which, let me tell you, it's not easy in Seattle. They just choose to make things very expensive here. I don't understand it, but I have to live that way. Spencer's taking a video of me, and I'm uncomfortable. He told me to be alone, and here he is, right there, videoing me. Does it seem like I'm alone when he's over here taking a video of me? No, less authentic, less alone. Ugh, the worst. I hate him. I'm being judged by your viewers already. Are you saying that you want less attention? Uh, no, not that. I just, I don't know. It's weird being filmed not for my own channel. Anyways, this is the intro to my new YouTube channel. I uh, will accept, um, you know, some ideas for names, if you would like to give me some. Um, Spencer has really uh, abrasively given me an idea by designing this sweatshirt for me. Um, so if you were wondering if he was a narcissist, I think we can pretty much confirm that at this point. Okay, yeah. You don't want to be on the channel, but you zoom in on your face. <laughs> Let's take a moment. It is so nice outside today. This is Seattle in December, like unheard of. Look at this, you can see the sky. It's blue. I forgot about that. I mean, come on. This is incredible. Explain um, Spencer tried to toast an English muffin. I asked him if he'd be able to handle it. He said yes. And this is what we have. Why don't you give the uh, viewers a little plan of what's going to happen in your first video? Why don't you keep your opinions to yourself? <laughs> I've been told I should give you guys an idea of what's going to happen in my first video. So I'll let you know that uh, we have some big plans for the day. We'll see if any of them happen. Um, going to go on a run. Going to go on a hike. And then, hopefully at some point, we're going to make some sort of a gingerbread establishment. It is the 28th of December, but I just feel like the 25th, the 24th, they all get too much attention, and I think that the rest of December deserves some as well. I uh, am the only one wearing long sleeves right now, and uh... I'm back. <laughs> I have to change. There's just no way that this is gonna work. I'm gonna be too hot and I'm from Alaska so I'm immune to cold, as everyone knows. Yeah, just follow me around like a dog. Uh, I just want views. Well, my viewership is dropped, it's fine. Okay, the main star with the purple hair. Yes. Wearing gloves when it's 75 out. Not you gloves, mittens. mittens. <laughs> it's not 65, it's 43. And you guys won't be laughing when my hands are the perfect temperature. And yours are frozen. So every Monday after our runs, we do a drill set. And the purpose of that is basically to work on form and mechanics. So some of the things I'm really focusing here are like ankle mechanics, flexing my feet when they're in the air, um, trying not to land on my toes as much as just the forefoot or the midfoot. Uh, and then also I'm working on my arm swing, trying to extend it a bit more on the way back and be less rigid. All of these things are stuff that I never was really told before I joined the Brooks Beasts and Danny kind of opened my eyes to the world of biomechanics, he has a master's degree in that, so it's something that I really respect about him as a coach, um, and I appreciate all of the wisdom he has to offer. Uh, even though like I don't super enjoy drills, I do feel like they're beneficial, and I've noticed that my form is improving after doing them. Yeah, drills are kind of my least favorite, but it's like our teammate Brandon Kidder said, 
Like you have to choose to do things with intention and it's best to focus on your weaknesses because that's where you have the most room for improvement. So like even when we don't have practice, we're still doing the drills even though it's boring and I'm not a huge fan. Um, I'm just, you know, hoping that it's making me better and if nothing else, it's making me more disciplined. And normally at practice we do like wicker strides so there's little hurdles to go over but uh, I don't have any of those today so I'm doing uh, pavement strides. Is, the road is closed so that's nice. So here I am doing some strides. Uh, I did eight but I didn't want to bore you all to death so I'm only showing two here. Um, but yeah, I mean, pretty much just basic, kind of working on turnover a bit, um, getting the legs moving before a workout tomorrow, um, nothing special, but, uh, it was a beautiful day, so it was nice to run a little faster and feel good. Don't want to be here. <laughs> Yeah, um, not sure how long this hike is. And uh, it's four o'clock, so we have 22 minutes of sunlight left. Yeah, it'll be fine. We don't actually need sunlight in order to hike. Um, just gotta use your reflexes and respond to the situation, but yeah, we'll be good. Yeah, it's, uh, you see that over there? That is the sunset. Um, we're not really close to done at all. Allie walks, <laughs> she's a six stepper on the walk. Hold I, guess, the... I gotta keep the pace going, you guys. The sunset is happening as we speak. And I just, I wanna get to the top. Anyways, it's becoming fairly evident that it's gonna get dark during this hike and we might, we might just have to make a fort and stay the night, but we'll see. I mean, Come oh, oh, I'm my in so gosh. And it's right at sunset golden hour. My gosh, this is beautiful. Oh, so worth it. I'm just another day in Seattle. Yeah. Made fun of me. Look who's wearing my mittens now. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, I bet you can assume what I'm doing. Yeah. Any more minutes? This is the situation for walking down. So it's getting a bit dark, but we're fine. It's ginger time. So I'm the sous chef, so I do nothing. Yes, um, we've actually found that it's quicker if I cook without Spencer, but I like to include him, so. He's here today. Um, here, I'll, I'll give you a little look. He's in his official sous chef uniform. Um, Reporting so, for duty. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we'll be making some gingerbread things. And we are making some gingerbread. Um, I just used a recipe off of Google. This is not my creation, but I'll link the recipe in the show notes is that what they're called i have no idea guys i've never posted a youtube video like this before um but anyways here's me stirring wow look at me go honestly oh god i don't want to talk about that what <laughs> i always do that. I can't god I always flex my foot when I'm standing. I don't know why. I can't help it. It's a disease. Yeah, I'm just stirring, you know, fully incorporating the wet and the dry ingredients, but we're getting closer. Yeah. Got my trusty rolling pin. Proud alum. We decided for our gingerbread establishment to make a track stadium, so here I am just cutting the outline of the track. I honestly was pretty impressed with how well I did freehanding it. Um, I'm so unartistic. Uh, you'll see that later in the video. All right, this is the first competitor for the track. Uh, his main competition is, is coming right up. Is it okay to up. just eat this? Yeah. What'll happen? You'll die. With, is this sugar, flour? 
we're just making some competitors track and uh, yeah, this one's gonna have to be a bit censored here. <laughs> Well, we've got all the components ready to go. Um, here we've got a discus, a shot put, hammer throw, baton, you know, the official's booth. Over here we've got an assort censored, an assortment of competitors, including this massive, incredibly attractive woman. All sorts of other implements and things in this corner. We're gonna assemble it all tomorrow. Uh, it's. 9.27 now, so it's just a little late to move on to that endeavor, but we'll get back to it. <coughs> it's morning and I'm happy to come downstairs and see that our competitors have survived to compete another day. So, uh, yeah, we'll be positioning these in their starting lanes and heats later, but for now, I mean, look, it's pretty incredible what we've been able to do here. So perfectly made. Pretty but, obvious what that is. Yeah, it, I mean, you could not possibly think that this was anything other than a UFO. <laughs> and if you do, just maybe get glasses or something. I'm not sure. I don't know how to help you at this point. Two days later. Yeah, so um, the competitors never quite got to the start line. Um, the event was canceled due to COVID. I'm sure many of you can relate. So uh, we're just going to have to eat them now. It's the only option. Mmm. Delicious. Ah, well, um, thank you for watching my first ever YouTube episode. Uh, I don't know how to do this, but uh, it's kind of fun and I'm bored, so I'm giving it a go. Um, remember when I started this episode and I was talking about how beautiful it was in Seattle? Well, now just look at this. A bit more accurate, um, very gray sky and it's raining so now you have a better idea of what Seattle is really like most of the time but honestly we all kind of love it it's I mean it's more about the people that are here than the actual place um, Seattle's beautiful uh, although rainy and we have a great group with the team and um, you know Will and Ari and everyone so it's it's really fun and I hope that like this channel will be able to give you guys a little bit of insight into more of that uh, and also you know how weird I am although maybe not revealing that fully because it just wouldn't be good for any of us anyways thanks for tuning in